I got to Vietnam and signed Alpha Company 1st Battalion, 1st Marines. Then on 30 January 1968, we got sent to Fubai. Half of the company did not make it because of uh, insufficient helicopters to fly. So we had a, a company of approximately 150 Marines, which was at half strength. Sometime in the middle of the night, our company commander woke us up and uh, told us to saddle up that the Mac V compound in Way City needed our help. And we'd be back by noon. Now, being salty Marines, I had wet socks, so I just put my combat boots on with no socks, took one bandolier of ammo, and we loaded up on trucks. And we got to the MACV compound. There was a lull in the, in the fighting. They repelled, I don't know how many attacks. They had barely survived uh, the surge. Their walls had been breached. And I could remember there was a, a wall and they started cheering us as we came in because they had been through hell. And they thought that we were there to save the, the day. And, you know, little did we know the numerical numbers of NVA there. What we didn't know is on the first day of Way City, there was nine battalions of NVA, nine, numerically, that put us at that point at a few hundred to one odds. And these were not Viet Cong. These were trained NVA troops with uh, weapons and training and the ability. And this was their battle to end this war. Most of us thought we'd never get out. As we certainly learned on that first day, trying to go down both sides of the street and, and finding that uh, totally ineffective. We had to adapt quickly, and that was sort of a natural thing for these Marines. Americans adapt. We improvise. The most ferocious fighting machine the world has ever seen is a 19-year-old pissed off Marine because you'll take that kid from Detroit or Mississippi and you'll train him in Marine Corps boot camp and you'll put him in a situation that's foreign to him and he will adapt and improvise and, and become that situation and deal with it. <laughs> 